So the first stop on our tuk-tuk ride from Kandy to Anuradhapura was this Hindu temple in Matale. It was called Musamariyaman and it was built in the late 1800s and the architecture was so so beautiful we loved it here, it was gorgeous. So we're at Dambala, Golden Temple at Dambala. It's really beautiful here. I've got my sarong on again. Johnny's got his sarong on. I think there's an eagle up there. So we're gonna go have a look around. Yeah, it's very beautiful here, very quiet also. <laughs> what on earth is this? It's like a mango on the side. Right, we've walked so far to find the ticket office. <laughs> really is warm today but i think we've found it now so see how much it is to get in to the dumbbella cave temple <laughs> right now i've got a walk of all these steps we have our tickets they cost two thousand rupees each there's a beautiful view from from up here not that much further to go Jeez, the views from here are absolutely mad. The ground is so hot, it's literally like walking on like hot coals or something. Oh my god, oh my god, how hot is it? Literally. I think this is over 2,000 years older than how long did you see the ceiling? 3,000 years. 2,100 years old. This on the ceiling. This is so, so, so old. And he said that uh, when the feet are like this, it means dead. When they're not lined up, when they're lined up, they're not sleeping. <laughs> So this one has 70 statues, it's a huge cave, with all of these little statues in, and there's like big ones, it's very dark in here. After about half an hour of driving from Dambulla, we made it to Sugaria. Um, this was like the entrance pit where you paid for your ticket. And yeah, there's some monkeys there as well. Just We just bought our tickets and now we're entering the like complex of Sugaria Rock. It's really exciting. Eh? There's like a moat all the way around. It's really cool. The tickets cost um, $30, which worked out at... Um, 10,200 rupees each which I mean it's pretty expensive but 
like I think it's going to be a really like beautiful and historic like important historical place like we really like the last place as well so I think we're gonna like this place it's one thing is that it is so quiet like there's barely any tourists here which we haven't really found in other places around Sri Lanka but here it's like feels really prominent doesn't it yeah generally like, I think it's like it's dead. not much tourists around the south like but even Udawalali was, was kind of busy, wasn't it? Yeah, like there's people on the safari and like there's people down in the south beaches, but just here it feels like really quiet. Maybe it's like, because it is quite expensive or something like that, comparatively to other things that you can do in Sri Lanka. But this is great. Here's our first proper view. Wow, <laughs> it's crazy. So what were you saying about how it was created, John? It was like in a Rock, volcano. A lava plug, isn't it? Lava plug, yeah. That's yeah. why it's a shape from an ancient volcano years and years ago. Jeez. These are some of the old pools in the miniature water garden. That's what it's called, wasn't it? Water garden, yeah. Yeah, but it's called miniature water was garden. It? Yeah. Oh, okay. So I looked on my map, I've got a little map which tells me all of the info. We didn't pay the extra for the guide because we just want to do it at our own pace really and like see it like in our own time rather than like have a guide rushing us around or something like that. Oh my god, we've started our climb. It's actually really tall. I feel like this is gonna make us so sweaty because it's really hot. It's so hot today. Oh, we're already pretty high. Now, this is what we're climbing. Oh my fucking god, then do not look safe. It's why it's called Lion's Rock. Lion feet and it would have been a big statue here. <laughs> we've made You're it so to... red. <laughs> Am I? Yeah. Oh my god, we've made it, is it burn or just red face? I think probably just red face. Okay, we've made it to the top. It was really hot when we were climbing up and like loads of stairs. It was, to be honest, this is not, it's not for the people who are scared of heights because it's, it was pretty terrifying on the staircase. Yeah. It's actually I not was that scared. Like high, it's not that like high. high climb, yeah, like, it's, it's not, not that like high. It's just, you just climbing like a vertical cliff on some stairs that literally are like made of rusty old metal. That's the worst part about it. But look, look at it. And of course, when you get here, there's also dogs here somehow. Like you go through all that effort to climb up and then there's like fuzzy dogs just hanging out. The view is insane. It's actually mad to think that there's like an ancient civilization like built on here. Like I don't understand how they got up. Like how did they get the bricks? Like what, how? And also it's just mental, but you can see for like pretty much miles all around. It's insane. So, so cool. The view is so, so insane. Look, down there you can see the all the gardens. And then this is the main palace. Oh God, I'm not looking forward to going back down. Do we just stay up here forever? Because I don't want to go down the steps. This is my favorite part of the view, but look at the clouds. Ooh, not so looking good. Here.
now we're going to the mirror wall and the cave painting. Okay, how long does it go on for? Uh, I think kind of a while, but there's two sets. There's a storm coming. There's no photography in here, so I'll turn this off. So after Sigaria, we got back in the tug tug and continued for a couple more hours up to Anaratapura. So we've just arrived at the ancient city of Anuradhapura and uh, we're going to buy the I entrance ticket. There, yeah. That's the, uh, stupa. Stupa. We've got a little scooty and yeah, we're going to buy the ticket. It costs $25 though, so it's quite expensive, but this is one of the most ancient uh, cities that's still like inhabited, inhabited yeah. in the world, isn't it? Like along with like Athens and, Athens and right, yeah, places like that. Rome. It's like 3,000 years old. 3,000 years old, yeah, that's what Johnny said. 3,000 years old, that's so old. Like, I'd so Johnny said that, well, Johnny it didn't make it up, he just read it. That um, <laughs> these structures are like the ancient, some of the biggest, the, some of the largest they are the ancient biggest structures. ancient structures apart from the pyramids in the world that were ever constructed. I know the sun is horrible in my face, but. Yeah, they're a bit smaller now. I think it was like 120 meters. Oh, 120 meters! Wow. So, but they say it's about 70, according to this. But now it's just 70. Oh, that is so cool. We just went in the museum, and um, it was really interesting. There was like pipes made of clay that they would have used for the water, and like loads of artifacts, jewelry that were from like the second century, first, second, then fourth century. That is so old. Um, yeah. I'm pretty well this. rested today because uh, I went to bed at 7.30 last night after a really long day of history yesterday and woke up at 6 today, so in, like, in 11 hours sleep basically. Um, but yeah, we'll have a wander around here. We've got a scooter to take us around as well because the, some of the ancient parts are like quite far apart. But it's really cool. I don't know if we drive to the next one or we walk. I think we might be able to walk to some bits when we drive. Like okay. After like three sides as well. Right. It's a hot day. Hot, hot, hot. And this building is British colonial from 1937. It's really beautiful. So there's lots of different types of history today. Uh, probably. This one is called Jetta Vanarama, we think. Yeah, yes, that's right. that's we right. do. We know. This and this is a huge structure. Go and stand in front, John, just so that I can sort of show the scale. Like, it's huge. And we put our sarongs on so that we can uh, have a walk around. And then those are the little steps that they would use to go in to the top. So we've stopped for a, a light refreshment. I've got a stupid hat on again, but it's because it was too hot. And then uh, we've got orange juice Thank you. and king coconut in this little place. It's quite cute. So inside this one, what's it called? It is called Thuparamaya. Thuparamaya is apparently Buddha's right collarbone. So this is a very holy place. It's a big pilgrimage site. Okay, and it's actually the first Buddhist to go be built in Sri Lanka. Yeah, third century BC. in the third century. Wow. So, what, 2300 years ago? Yeah. So, this is the Sri Maha Bandai tree, which is 
of extreme significance because it's grown from a branch of the holy tree in India which uh, the Buddha was enlightened under. So we decided to go for a drive but then we actually ran out of fuel but luckily this guy managed to help us out. It was so so kind. He literally came out of his house and he was like, yep, I've got fuel, I'll help you. He was a lifesaver. Yeah. Love him. Thank you so Damn. much. So, as you just seen in that clip, we did run out of fuel on the way here. So that wasn't so good. This dog is obsessed with me. Why are you obsessed with me? But luckily we ran out of fuel just outside a mechanic's office. Mechanic's office? A mechanic's workshop. And that meant that we could just fill up the street. <laughs> he was so kind. It was absolutely amazing that he like helped us out and he literally charged us like fuel like normal fuel prices. Obviously we gave him some more money, but it was that, that was so lucky. So now we're gonna go to this I think it's called I think it's called this John. Singer Pokuna. Ah. Pok Una. Singer Pokuna. But anyway, it's a big rock where you can see the sunset, so we'll see what it's like. Oh no, so I didn't realise that you had to uh, wear long trousers or like a sarong or something, so I just wore shorts, but now I can't go, which is very sad. Oh shit, and I've also forgot my purse. I've been a bit of a... But it was because when we got the, um, when we got the scooter back, it was like pouring down with rain, so all of us have got absolutely soaking wet and then we hung it all out to dry like the sarongs and stuff and then when we were leaving like we we're just leaving in such a rush that i totally didn't even think to be honest i thought i didn't really realize it was a temple i, I thought it was just like like kind of like what cigarette is like rock with like steps up it like viewpoint type thing not like a holy place so anyway it doesn't matter i wouldn't want to go inappropriately dressed so we can find somewhere else to watch the sunset maybe Mm. This is where we're staying in Anuradhapura. It's so beautiful, it has a little pool, and we've just been sat out here working today. But our room last night, I looked onto those rice fields there, and I had a balcony as well. It was so, so nice. It's really pretty here. It's called Andorra Taurus Resort. Really nice. Very messy right now, but this is the view from our balcony. It's absolutely gorgeous out here. The rice field view, we'll cut the little seat out here. Gorge. Now we're on the platform of Anamaradapura station, waiting for, probably takes half outside, um, the train to go to Colombo. So it's pretty cool here. This is our ticket. It costs 2000 400 rupees and we have um oh my god i look bad but we'll have seats that uh, are reserved which last time it was a bit crazy when we didn't have them reserved we had to like sit on the floor and because it's such a long one like it's like three and a half hours or something i just thought nah we'll we'll just spend a little bit extra it's like it's not a lot of money um i'm just hoping that we're at the right part of the platform and stuff but the, the station is really cool all the old signs are just like amazing. It's so sweet. This is on the train. Look how much space we have at our feet. Like, it's literally the most legroom ever. Luxury. Luxury. Have we got a power and we put our bag up there. Plug your laptop in. And yeah, power out there. This is perfect. Oh, we can even get the Seat. iPad out Yeah. Um, now, this is our room in Colombo. Oh my god, we are in luxury right now. Look at these. So pretty and two pillows <laughs> and like a desk with a desk chair which for some reason other places they had dressing tables or like desk but no chair which is so weird. We have a mini bar. Oh my god. There isn't anything in it but it means that we can keep the water cold which is always a good thing. And there's a little balcony out there as well. Gosh this is lovely. Wow, we've come to a very local uh, place in Colombo for rice and curry. What was the place called? Hotel Una or something? Uwa. And then, yeah, we've tried this new drink as well. It's called orange barley. It's a bit weird. It tastes like squash or something. 
but yeah, the usual, like this one's cabbage, this one's dal, this one was still doing, I still need to look at what that is online. And then this one is like a potato thing, it's coconut sambal, so good. <laughs> Okay, so we're about to catch the flight to Thailand. Um, so this will be the end of the Sri Lanka vlogs. Oh my god, like it's been a crazy month. I can't believe it. I can't believe like everything that we've seen and done has been insane. Like it's completely blown my expectations out of the water. Um, thank you so much for watching the vlogs. I hope they were good. I hope everyone enjoyed them. And yeah, we'll be back with the Thailand vlogs when we land there in Bangkok tonight.